guys, how's it going? It's a gorgeous day today, no wind. It's supposed to be like 52 or something like that. And I just found a bunch of beautiful stuff. Uh, some like purplish pink tulips that are almost in bloom. And then this flat of really pretty kind of like buttery yellow uh, violas. It just is like spring. Um, so anyway, I thought I would talk about um, using bulbs in planters. And these are the ones I'm gonna be planting up today. Um, these are the urns back by our back sun porch. I just cleaned them out of their winter stuff a couple of days ago. So when you use tulips or daffodils or any spring blooming bulbs like this, um, they're definitely not a long-term solution. I do have summer plans for these pots. So really, I just wanted something fun for spring. I only need them to last like a month and a half um, and they will do that. Uh, if you can find the bulbs in not quite full bloom, that's the best. Like, let me turn the camera around and show you a close up. So you can see that these tulips are not in full bloom yet if you can find them that look even like this or even like less open like that that's even better you'll get even longer out of them so I always look at a lot of these containers that I put together as kind of an investment in my future garden because oftentimes I can reuse these plants out in the landscape somewhere like all of these things right here will survive in zone 5 so it's not like I'm enjoying them for a month and then throwing them away, which I don't think is wrong to do either. Like I would much rather spend, you know, a few dollars on a pot of tulips rather than go buy a fancy coffee or something like that. I just love to look at blooms and I like prioritize that in my life but it's also nice to know that I can use them again. So after I'm done with all of this, I do have spots out in the garden where I can put these and they'll look beautiful. So I'm just gonna pot up these containers and then I'll show you guys what they look like. a little bit more cleaning like I'm gonna have to wash all that soil off with water and probably spray off the sidewalk a bit but they are essentially done and I think they look so sweet and so springy I just needed that in this area here they are from the front and then let me give you a nice close-up oh I just love it okay so now I want to talk a little bit on the care of these so I'm not gonna have to water them very much. Like I'll water them in today. I didn't do that right now because it kind of makes a mess of everything, but I'll clean off the pots and the sidewalk while I'm at it. And then it's so cool still that I probably won't have to water them, but maybe once a week, um, even if it's windy, they'll probably still retain quite a bit of moisture up here. This is not a very sunny area. It gets some sun like maybe really late in the day, um, but these will be happy here for the length of time that they'll need to be here. As the tulips start to age, so as the blooms start to fade and start to drop their petals, I'll cut off just the bloom stalk and I'll leave the foliage um, because the foliage will stay nice for quite a long time and it's a nice vertical element in here. Um, and then when I get ready to pot them out, it'll depend on what their foliage looks like, but it'll probably still be nice and green like that and I'll just pot them out in the landscape looking just like they do. Um, I'll make sure to go six inches down just like you would normally plant a bulb. At the time that I plant them out, I will be putting fertilizer at the bottom of the hole um, because that's the time that you wanna fertilize your bulbs is right after they're done with their spring, uh, spring bloom. I brought the fertilizer out just so you could see what I used. Got it right here. This is the Espoma Bulb Tone. I've done a video before on planting fall bulbs and I've showed you that and I usually put like a teaspoon at the bottom of each hole um, where I'm planting my bulbs anyway in the fall when I'm planting them fresh. So anyway, that's going to be the life cycle of these for this year anyway. When the foliage starts to yellow and die back, that's when you cut them back and then 
you know, you just wait for them to bloom next year. And the violas would probably be okay up in this spot all year um, because it's not a super hot area, but I'm going to put them out like in a shadier spot in the landscape so that I have room in these pots for other things. So anyway, I hope this video was maybe helpful if you wanted to plant bulbs in containers and just weren't sure like about how to do it or, you know, if it was a good idea to do it. Uh, I hope this gives you encouragement to give it a try because it sure is just a nice jolt of spring color up here and it just does my heart good. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.